Hi guys, Vlad here. Today we'll be going through the repair that is called No Image After Screen Replacement. So, let's watch it. So, what we have today? I have today iPhone 8 that came from another shop and this phone hopefully will be easy fix. Yeah, We don't have image or backlight doesn't matter what it is uh, I just see that and they told me that they replace the screen themselves right and uh, the phone has no image yeah so let's check if it's charging and we see that it was giving a little bit more voltage when I just received that yeah 700 milliamps uh, most likely most likely it's charging or turning on now who knows yeah but most likely it's charging I don't have any vibrations here currently but it's uh, might be just dead yeah all right let's straight away open the phone and check so the first thing I do in this kind of a case is I checked with the working screen so we connect just the screen yeah, to the same connector without the battery connection so if you connect phone without the battery connection you will see the Apple logo instead of the charging yeah if the charging circuit is fine as also in that time I will be able to check charging circuit if I will see the boot cycle normal so connect we have 60 milliamps 100 milliamps and that looks about right it's supposed to get a close to 200 yeah 200 we're getting so most likely phone tries to flash up a logo just we don't see that okay okay so let's take the board out one more thing I see it's a little bit elevated kind of a strange maybe because of the brake or something is stuck there it's kind of a positioning not good anyhow I will check that when I took it take it out so now we know what we are dealing with this is refurbished phone let's see what has been done to that so why I think it's refurbished because we don't have a compound around the NAND yeah so we don't have a proper glue that's mean the NAND being replaced or lifted whatever this looks different usually when you have a when the NAND job was not done uh, I will just in case remove stickers to check just in case what's this mm -hmm. maybe audio as he was done let's remove this as well and here here looks nothing was done this is little bit little bit turned maybe that's the issue but first we'll check the connector what's this little bit of water damage anyhow yeah first we'll check that section there okay look at this yeah first of all I just try check this and we don't have the two we don't have the two components here that's that's I think that that's the backlight circuit so we might have no uh, no backlight instead of no image yeah, so somebody who was replacing the screen probably did it yeah, we have one component here and second is probably not not used so let's take this back and place it somewhere here so I don't lose it now let's power the soldering station add little bit of flux we 
add two blobs there I will zoom in so you can see better hopefully that will do I will remove this as well because it will get bad I will put 350 degrees let's take this resistor put it here and that's soldered and that's it Now clean it. Yeah. Now we'll take the same housing. So the same housing and same screen I tested it with. So broken original screen. Yeah. Without battery connector we connect it to check if we have Apple logo. Here we go, goes the boot and we do have Apple logo, that's it. Problem solved. So reason I'm making this video is to like teach people where you do mistakes yeah that's normal everybody do a mistake and uh, it's good if you can understand where you did it and to fix that mistake yourself otherwise your phone will end up here or at some other uh, shop that will be fixing your mistake for you yeah so basically when you are doing the connector installment in the phone when you're connecting new screen you have to be kind of a gentle connector has to click click delicately and if you are kind of a misclick in that connector you can jam it somewhere and like in this case you will just break one of the resistors around there and you will have no image there a case might be worse you might short something you might see a spark or something like that and then uh, damage will be bigger one yeah but you can avoid everything uh, every damage I described just now by just being a little bit more careful and uh, of course after you do that once you probably will never do that again but still, it's better to understand that in the first place. Hope this helps somebody and I'll see you next one.